Hello everybody, it's me RJ here again with another video. Today I'm going to be uh, flying my JJRC X5 drone. Uh, check out the description box below um, and you can check out the uh, unboxing video that I did of this. And uh, in that video I called the name wrong but a kind uh, person corrected me in the comments on that video. So this is the JJR cx5 not times five i called the times five in that video but um okay i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and we're gonna get flying this thing i just, this will be just a video of showing how it flies um i will have to calibrate it and connect everything um, but i'm not going to go into detail about that i'm going to put two links in the description box below for two videos that are really great at explaining how to connect those uh, connect ro remote to the drone and get it calibrated and everything like that but you do have to calibrate this drone every time you fly so if I turn it off and turn it back on I got to recalibrate it before I fly when I change the batteries I got to recalibrate it before I fly it it doesn't take too long maybe a minute or two it's to get everything connected but it's no big deal I'm gonna go ahead and and turn the remote on and I'm gonna plug my battery in on this battery you can see right there you push it in and you lock it that way you can't just pull it out okay so everything's connecting itself I'm gonna go ahead and wait a little bit and then uh, get everything going and calibrate it but I'm not gonna really explain in the detail what I'm doing you can check out those other links uh, in the video or in the description box below that will explain that really well <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set this down, and I've already got satellite signal. It looks like I got 13 or 14 satellites, so um, I'm going to wait just a minute, and then I'm going to take it out in the yard, and we're going to get it flying. Now, there's a couple buttons on here I will explain. I'm going to set it down right here. And it is pretty windy outside. I don't know. You can see my flag over there. It's, it's uh, I'd say if I had to guess, maybe six to eight mile an hour winds. Uh, maybe some gusts of about 10 miles an hour. Um, but yeah, it's, it's whipping in the wind. So we'll see how that goes. Yesterday when I flew it, it was pretty calm outside. Uh, you can see this button right here. It's a little lock button. That's going to unlock the blades. So I'm going to hit that. The blades are going to spin. And they're spinning. And then when I get ready to fly it, I'm going to hit the uh, takeoff button. This is also a land button. It'll make it land too if it's in the air. So I'm going to hit the takeoff button. Okay, here we go. It's going to take off. And it should hover right there. And it's hovering really nicely in the wind. It's blowing it around a little bit, but it's fighting. It's fighting to stay. It's pretty windy. So I'll lift it up a little bit. I'm going to fly it around some. Try not to let the wind take too much control, but it's doing a pretty good job. It's really responsive uh, to the remote. And this is my very first drone uh, ever flying. And this, it flies really well. So hopefully you guys are getting good footage of this. I'm gonna take it over here. My yard is not the biggest yard in the world, so I'll have to take it somewhere else to fly to really take off with this thing. Let's get a little closer to me not too close where well, you guys can get a, a good view of this pretty cool uh, it's staying I mean the wind quit right now so it's staying really nice in place um, and it, it's flying against the wind pretty good so lift it up some kind of dropping down a little bit but I really really like the drone for for owning a drone for a uh, very first drone I really can't say much because I've never flown any other drone before, but this is really, really nice. Um, see if I can get close enough. There's a little button on the remote right here that controls the camera. That's what's awesome about this drone is it has a camera on the front, 2K camera, and it's pretty good. Uh, in those other videos that I am going to put in the description box below, you will see the cameras uh, in those videos, the footage of the cameras anyway. So check it out. See the camera? See it's 
it's looking at me right now and now it's looking up hopefully you can get a good shot of that and that thing puts out a lot of wind i get about uh 16 to 18 minutes uh, battery of uh, flight time but i'm gonna press the return home button right here and when you press the return home button it's gonna fly pretty high and then hover there for about 30 40 seconds and then come back down close to where it took off from uh, it's, sometimes it's not that accurate I, I haven't figured that out yet sometimes it lands right on the spot but i'm gonna push this forward here and i'm gonna go ahead and hit the return home button so let's go ahead and hit it right now it's pretty windy so i'm, I'm a little nervous about this but it should come back return home and it's going to take off It, it always hovers about that high. It's fighting the wind right now. Um, it, you can, it's swaying back and forth. The blades are kicking in really high. I can hear it buzzing. And it should start to come down right about now. It's starting to come back down. And you can see it's not going to be on the spot that I took it off at maybe a foot or two away from it but it's pretty close it's still coming down coming down coming down and I'm not touching the remote it's doing this all by itself that's gonna land the best it can and the blades gonna shut off and when they shut off they're going to stop and I won't be able to use the remote to do anything so what I need to do in order to take it back off again is hit the unlock button blades are gonna spin and I should be able to hit the takeoff button and it'll take off so now that it's took off again right there I'm gonna push the uh, land button and I'll show you as soon as I push the land button it's gonna come right back down from where it's at and just land so there we go I'll push the the land button and it's landing itself right there and there it is and it's off again and I can take off with the remote too. just unlock the blades and then just use the throttle here to lift it up and there it goes so it's, it's, it's pretty nice fly it around a little bit more okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and land it and uh, stop this video Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, thanks for clicking on this video. I know there's tons and tons of videos out there for this particular drone. And I really appreciate you guys watching my video. Um, but don't just watch mine. Watch all those other ones. I did about three or four months worth of research before I decided to <laughs> buy this drone. And I'm really pleased with it. It has uh, real, it's, it's really strong in the wind. Uh, that surprised me here in Oklahoma. It gets pretty windy at times, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to let you go. And guys, thanks again for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, anything you want to say or comment in the video, uh, go ahead. And please, again, check out the description box below. I will see you in the next video. And later on, guys. Thank you again. Bye.